We're back at Newark Castle on a sunny day. They're doing a big project over at the gatehouse, putting a new like reception, visitor attraction in. Not to do with us that. We are today putting a metal plate on a stanchion which is in the river. This was part of our works from like 12 months ago, but trying to obtain the river permit, we couldn't get it within that contract. Anybody who's dealt with the Rivers Authority know they're an absolute nightmare. It can be three months or it could be three years, well, maybe not three years, but it takes a while. So we got it, we got it back end of last year. And then obviously the river was too high. We couldn't get into it. So we've left it all summer. River's really low at the minute. So we're going to go in, got this big hole in the stanchion that we're going to put a big steel plate on, two 10 mil steel plates, bolt them together. Because we've got the permit, we've also been working for the last two and a half months, I think, on the riverside, uh, rope accessing, doing a lot of repointing and brick replacement, trying to secure this riverside wall. That was all part of that permit as well. So we'll go and have a look at that as well and see what them boys are up to. Oh, we're doing a window as well. Busy day today. Doing a window as well, putting a window in on uh, Lady Elizabeth's room. Uh, been in our workshop, made it all up. So that's going in as well. We'll have a look at that. And I brought my power barrow that we can't use at Blackburn. I'm using it here for sandbags. Happy days. So I can get that used. I'm hoping it's going to fit down the road. But let's get cracking. Also, while we're here, look at all that. From last year. Scaff is down. You can watch that video. Yeah, see it here, wherever it is. But I'll put it up on that one. We, we damn near took all that panel out. Or we took a lot of it and re, a lot of it down and rebuilt it. But we repointed all these, all these panels. Devaged it all. Looking good now, though. Pleased. And then, if you've ever, if you've ever been to Newark, you can walk around the back of the castle on this beautiful jetty. We put all these yellow bars down, by the way. But currently it's closed off because of the works that's going on down there so no one can actually get down here and unfortunately one this jetty down there has got a hole I removed all the stuff out of way. You can see the problem. The big hole in web. All these are all out, checked all them out. And we're pretty safe. There's only a foot of water, two foot of water. Just gonna put some sandbags around that. Uh, we should be all right actually, just to get it, but we're just gonna clean it up first and see where we're at. And we need to get a measure just to see we can get down far enough. Way the time. Adam's already got his uh, boots wet because he's gone over his welly, so he's not bothering. Like that. Oh. Like that. Like that. Like that. These are the plates we've made for it. Some 10 mil. Just cut them down, same size as that steel. Yeah, we'll just just try try that and just make sure it's gonna. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I'll mark these up and get them drilled. Oh, we need a bloody, need a right angle, don't we? I've got one for not. Oh, uh, no. Uh, we're up there. Now then, full breath way to you. Back in it again at Newark Castle. What we're doing is uh, basically steel work. Let's get to it. <laughs> Just on the grinding. All this rust off the stanchion now. We put all these sandbags around just so we can capture all, anything that drops into the river. So we don't end up polluting the river with bits of rust and stuff. And we'll, we'll just keep cleaning that out. Just marked all this steel plate up ready to drill. We didn't want to drill it first because we didn't know whether the uh, stanchion was the correct measurements. Um, if we had to have chopped it down or anything, so may as well just drill it on set. Yeah. We've 
sort of putting this window in we've in the Lady Elizabeth's room in here and we've made I haven't made it, Jason's made it, put a new oak window in. I've also got a shutter which is gonna go on the inside of the window as well. All in oak. Slot in there, looks sweet. All the plates drilled and hauled. Just marking this plate up now on that stanchion so we'll get six holes drilled in putting that. We want to go put another bead a bit closer on the edge out as well. Closer on the edge. Yeah, yeah, just we need that ooze coming out of it. So that we can see we can seal it. Hey, it's grand this watching these boys work instead of me doing oak graft for once. Just down at the river, this is what we're doing on the river side. This was another one that we had to wait for the actual consent so we could do it. What they're using is a kind of counterweight system and they've got a like a bag as well so as they're knocking all the bricks out they're falling into their bag and nothing actually goes into the river and they've got a lot to do they've been here probably about three months now so this is what's coming out all full of roots and well, i went on there somewhere but basically all that's what it looked like all decayed so They've got a massive stack of brick up there that they're changing. It's made a big void. Things like that. We're trying to root all the get all the root systems out as well while we while we're at it and clear all the vegetation out. Then what we'll do is rebed all the bricks in and point it up. I can see where, where they've done. I think he's, he was saying he's done about nine down here, nine brick changes. And then we point to all this area. Well, they're going right from up the corner up there, all the way down here. Right the way, nearly down to that bridge down there. So they're doing it quite a bit. Oh, Dave's not in his basket, but cracking little thing that they use on that counterbalance. You see we've got all this vegetation to take out down here. All down this side as well. No one's no one's done this for years, I think. All the bricks were all voided and this river comes up really high as well. So yeah, another bit that we're on with here. I will go across to the other side of the river but it's a long way around. And I'm busy. These are all the bricks they've got to do. They've already all been counted. We've got quite a bit to go yet. This is the undercroft in the castle. Yeah. We're just sealing up the steel now on the outside. It's going to dry that bottom section off with blowtorch so we get that water out of it. We've put some safety glass in there. I'm calling it heritage safety glass. And shutter, some other little studs on it. It's gonna go a bit dark. And you can see it. A little shutter on the inside as well. Just need to put some plugs in now. Just in here and that's it, job done. Another one done. Made it join the shop as well. Looks good. That's it, sandbags out, repair done. A barrow as well, using it, what a bit of kit. Wet sandbags, I think we've had about 30, 35 down here. And we've got to go all the way around the castle. Let's take them back to the van. Why? Wow. Use the barrow. I knew there was a reason I bought it. You gotta pull it. It's full of sand, Rocky. full of wet sand. Oh, little arms. Too much for you. 
Beats carrying them all the way up here. All the way up through there. What a bit of kit. Efficiency, that's what we're all about, efficiency. Right, job done. Easy one today, one day, in and out. So, hope oh, you enjoyed it. Lovely backdrop. Catch you in a bit.